So in this video, we're going to go through how you can use your FL Artcoin, which is the Flare network, and how you can vote. So there has been one voting window that opened. We had the voting and 95% for and said yes to the proposal. There will be future voting and that's what makes the Flare network really great. So if you missed the first voting one and you really want to get involved in the Flare network and have your say, stick on this video and it will show you in easy three steps how you can vote. First step is to wrap your coins. Second step is to actually do the voting. And third, I'm going to show you how you can delegate your coins. Cool. So to get started, you'll need a Bifrost wallet. I already have it installed on my iPhone. At the bottom, there's a tab for the browser. I'll click on the browser. Once on the browser, I will then connect it to the Flare network. I discuss this in more detail video of the link above. So you'll go on your Bifrost wallet. You'll see you've got your coins. You can see mine's already wrapped. That allows me to provide 200 votes. You can see currently what the voting is at. It's 95% for and about 5% or 4% against. We can also see the number of votes that have been cast so far. So let me cast my vote. I know it's supposed to be maybe secret, secret ballot. But yeah, I've got 200 coins. Let me just show you how to do it. I've cast my vote four and I'm done. I'm going to try and go back and vote again and see what happens. Note, I only wrapped 200 coins and I used my full 200 votes. If I go back, you can see I'm denied. I'm not allowed to vote again. So perfect. I've confirmed my vote, sent it through, and I'm done. If you've lost me in any of these videos, please have a look at my other video on how to get started on Bifrost. Cool. So how do I do the delegation? The delegation works similar as the voting. You first have to wrap your coins and only the coins which you've wrapped can be delegated. And by delegating, you'll see I'm delegating. It allows me to delegate to two different providers and you can choose the percentage split between the two. Please do your own research in terms of which providers you will be delegating to. Basically, by delegating, they will be able to act on your behalf in terms of voting. And if you want to know more about the FTSO, there's a great video in the link, um, which I think this guy explains it very, very well, called the Flea Community. He's got some great videos out there. And yeah, I really recommend his channel. Great. Look out for my next video where I show you how you can wrap your coins so you can actually earn more coins. So in the next video, I'll explain that. And yeah, happy Flea. Happy crypto. So just before posting this video, I came across a post on Twitter relating to FTSO being hacked or compromised. So that quite scared me quite a bit. Then reading further, I saw one of the Twitter users asking the question, how do I undelegate? So I'm going to go through how to undelegate and save your coins. So what exactly happened? Well, reading from what I saw while I was in bed, waking up in the morning, I saw that the um, article swap, one of the FTSO providers, had some compromise in their code, which exposed the private keys of people's wallets. Now, when it comes to private keys, we all know it's private, and anyone can then log into your wallet and take your coins. So to safeguard myself, I've undelegated. Second. Um, step I'm taking is I'm going to take all my flare coins off my current Bifrost, create a new Bifrost with new private keys and place my flare coins in the new private keys. And to play it safe, I'm not going to delegate. By not delegating, I might lose out on 2-3% return. But think about it. The main reason we're on this flare network and on the vote is to acquire the remaining 85% airdrop. Now, by not delegating, you're not in any way losing out on the 85% airdrop that will still be provided to you if you wrapped your coins. And wrapping your coins, 
I don't think it's that big a risk as delegating. Now I will am keeping a close eye on this because it's quite new developments and I'll make a further video if anything changes. But for now to be safe, I'm keeping myself safe, I won't be delegating. I understand some of the FTSO other providers out there might not have had this hack, but the network is quite new. So I don't think there's any guarantees. And for me playing it safe, I would rather just not delegate in future. Please look out for my other video on how I compare the Decent wallet and the Bifrost wallet and why I chose those two. In a nutshell, I put my Android phone next to my iPhone and yeah, we go through the different wallets and compare the two.